Windows 7 has greatly improved the speed in which you can search for files. And it's really quick to search for a file or even a program or a folder. And it's simple to do. All you need to do is click on the start button down at the bottom here. You just click on it. You'll see that right here it's got search programs and files. You can click in there if you want, but it's all ready to start. So if I was to type in Word, you'll see how quickly it's actually searched there. And you can see it's actually broken them down into categories, such as programs. There's two. There's Word 2010, WordPad. And if I was to click on either of those, if I did actually click on Microsoft Word 2010, it opens it. So if I go back to start, type in Word again, You'll see it's got others here as well, and these could in fact be files, like this one here, save PDF files as Word documents. If I was to click on that, it would open the PDF, and you've got it right there. So no excuse now for not being able to find files that you can't remember where you placed them. The other useful thing is, is you don't need to remember wildcards. You might remember those. You had to put in asterisks and things like that. No longer necessary. You can just do this by typing in it looks any part of that file or document or program. So if I click on that again, let me just type in Word. You'll see that down at the bottom here, it actually says see more results. You can see that the files, there's 455 of them. So if I was to click on that, it opens up this box here, which I'm just going to make full screen. I'm just going to maximize it. And you can see I've got a whole load of files here that I can scroll through, and it's highlighted each of these words here, where it actually looked for Word. I could have typed in anything. So now that I'm here, and I'm in the computer screen, or what you might call Windows Explorer, there's also a search box up at the top here. Now this time, when I search in here, and let me just get rid of that, you'll see that if I click over here on Pictures, I've got some folders, and over here, you'll see it says search pictures. It's going to search now if I search in this. So I could have just simply gone to Windows Explorer down here or clicked on Start and Chosen Computer. It would have taken me more or less to the same sort of place. But if I then click on pictures or whatever folder, I can search within that and also the subfolders. So let's say I've got a file here and I know that there's a picture there. And you'll also notice when I do click there, it's got previous searches that it retains for a while. If I type in cat, you'll see it's going to come up with whatever file, and all of these happen to be pictures, where it's got cat in the title just within that particular folder and its subfolder. So that's pretty cool. And again, you can double click on those to open them. You can do a bit more than this, because if you click back here, and it varies depending on the file or folder that you're looking at, you can look for date taken. So if I click on that, it comes up with a little calendar. So I could choose earlier this year. These weren't taken earlier this year, so they've disappeared. But if I go back, see, I can just simply delete that by clicking back in there and using the backspace or delete key. You'll see I could also click on type, and I could choose just JPEG images, which these are. Let me just go back to the date taken, because you can actually choose any one of these options, like yesterday is obvious, earlier this week, last week, a long time ago. I'm not quite sure how far back that actually goes. But you could actually select dates. You can just highlight it like that. They don't fall into that, so I can click on that. But what if I want to highlight over several months? Well, I click in the first one, I just keep dragging back, and then you can see I could choose that. And up at the top here, it's showing you from the 1st of the 1st, 2012, to the 1st of July, 2012. And if I wanted to, because I wasn't being very careful with the mouse, and I wanted to change that, I could simply just click in it, delete, and change it. So that's now going from the 1st of February. Obviously, if you've got your system set up for US or another one where you do month, day, and year, you need to change the right bit. So just press Enter on that. Again, if I want to get rid of it, I just simply click up here, and I just delete it. As soon as I've done it, bang, back come my pictures. So you can see that up at the top here, you can simply just click in there and get extra information. You may have tags in here too. One other thing whilst I'm here, if I click on a picture down at the bottom, it does give me a whole load of information down here as well. I could, I could add a tag, 
So I could just put in here cats and that would make it a little bit easier and I could also put in I could also put in other tags in there as well which might actually then be used when I search again because I can then simply come up to the top here hit tags and they're already up there so I can just choose garden and it just picks out that one where I've got the garden. So there you go, that's quicker searching, how to add the tags in there and also to go a little bit deeper into the searching by using the search when you're actually in the computer or Windows Explorer.